Hi guys, this is Vendetta 306 and this is the second attempt at recording and some of you guys might say, but Vendetta, what the crap, you just like teleport into the other room. Yeah, that's because I, I tried this before and I failed because I stink. Anyway, in this video we're going to fight Crate and yes, that is a very, very deceased man. He looks like a dead Halo Spartan, so I will teabag him. Yes. Okay. I didn't show you guys the moonwalk. That's kind of cool. Anyway, okay. Enough with the stuff. Stuff. Yay! Great! I, I said in the last video um, that I failed that. I messed around the settings, so there should be a lot less slowdown this time. Crap, you shot the rocks. The rocks on the Bill Cosby impersonations on the. It's actually a really, really good room to practice wall jumping when Fred is dead, and the background magically comes to life. That is wonderful programming. I did not notice that until now, but I'm singing music. The Mount America's Got Talent. Please don't. Pace my little wall jumping skills. By Speaking of skills, oh, I guess that's not a very good story for now. He's supposed to be concentrating. He on the crate and everything. Super the face, which I'm messed up. And crate gets yellow. He's the only boss besides the sports bomb that does this. Just kind of worth mentioning, I guess. Two minutes into the video here. Crap. Failing at wall jumping. Like, a lot. Boom. Face. Oh! Prey deceases. Into nothing. Recedes into the earth. To Hades. Forever. Forever. That was my deep voice there for a second. This room is actually really nice for practicing wall jumping if you, um, if you need to practice wall jumping, it's really, it's a nice room. Anyway, so I was talking about challenge or something earlier. Well, we got the various suit. So first I'll talk about this and then the challenge aspect thing. We go orange. Jack-o-lantern. Accomplished. Yeah. <laughs> Samus is the best jack-o-lantern ever. Wait, is there something here? Because I think knowing Nintendo... I'm not gonna 100%, I don't think. Even if I do, I'm going to say something. Yep. Anyway, so the challenge I was talking about. Might as well just like. Hey, don't dub around. We gotta go. We gotta go for this game. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta, we gotta get Norfair. We gotta get the Spoobies. We gotta get Brady. We gotta get the Space Force Bomb. We gotta get the Torrent. Get the Mother Brain. Get the Krogmire. And the, 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 the rocks and the. And the missiles and the super missiles and the power bombs and the high jump boots and the wait wait we already got the high jump boots and the very suit and the gravity suit. <sighs> yeah, that's a day in the life of Samus, right there. Anyway, so I was talking about challenge. Oh wait, yeah, you guys, didn't. you may have seen this before, but yeah, that's amazing. Anyway, it's actually a cool another trick. But that's quite a ways away, kind of, unless you take the shortcut away. Or if you're going to be boosting mini crate, you kill. You shall die with the super the face. Slowly recede away. And this haunts me a lot of the first game. Mm, does it? Mm, I don't know. Nice piece of skull. Sirs. Anyway, for like the fourth time now, <laughs> we're talking about challenge. Like, I recently, um, for those of you that don't know, which is none of you because I've told you guys, but I got a Wii U for Christmas, and what was included with it, with another present, was Super Mario Brothers U. And I beat the game. The game was actually not that hard. I think it was one of the better Mario games, especially better than like New Super Mario Brothers Wii. I liked it a lot better. And DS. Yeah, I think it may be up, like, up there with Super Mario, but I dare say that. Because I haven't completely beat the game yet, I haven't gotten all the star coins or anything, but yeah. Anyway, 
So basically, yeah, you see this thing here, and there's like, well, really, really, I'm gonna this is it? No. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, so I got it for Christmas, and there's a like a challenge mode, and one of them was speeding, like a speed run type thing on like Acorn Plains on like one level. I beat in like 51.72 seconds. It was awesome. It took me so long. You had to jump all in the enemies and like, well, I watched some guy do it in like 50 seconds, but he didn't jump on any enemies. I don't know how he did it. You gotta do like the triple jump and it's hard because you always run into the enemies if you don't do it exactly right. Burp. <coughs> Excuse me. Gotta take another sip of my beverage. I like Samus here, she's just like, yeah, more of my surroundings, but I don't care, because I'm Samus. Yeah. And we're wasting a lot of time. We're in Norfair, hurrah! Hooray, hurrah! I didn't, okay, never mind. I thought something was supposed to happen over there, but it didn't. Mock ball, yes, though! No. Mock ball! No, we're not gonna do the mock ball. Not to Today, children, it's not today. I've never been able to do mock ball in my life, and I don't plan to start out soon. Besides, we're not too far from that location anyway. Anyway, let's go over here. Ow. What? Ow. What? I feel like. Okay, why did I pop? There's no need for that at all. At all. At all. <sighs> anyway, I like the slag, um, uh, slag, slag tights. I'm trying to remember which one they were, slag tights or slag mites. Mites. Well, wavy background means hurt, means pain. Yeah, we can shortcut through our way from here and kill these guys. Who's the hopper, the lower Norfair hoppers. Well, don't even get me started. There, there are much worse to come. Why did I select my super missile instead of just hitting the Y button? These guys play the original Metro and I hate them so. And we gotta jump over here and get that jump. Uh, yeah, I tried to play the original Metro. Like, I had a port on the Game Boy. It was a classic NES collection or something like that. Anyway, I tried to play the original Metro, but. I was wondering what was getting hurt. Anyway, it was way too difficult, especially for my standards. Standards, what the crap? Who am I? I'm not a critic. Anyway. Crap. I forgot this is the room. Baba is flooding. And we got to jump. Because it's okay, so There's horsies that are much easier to kill. With the ice cream. And there's a call them horsies. Because they look like fire seahorses or the Pokemon horsey. Yes, I was around to know what a horse is. <laughs> played the first generation of Pokemon. Um, played the first generation. Skipped second generation because I didn't know it was out. Yeah, thanks media. <laughs> I didn't really pay attention to media much as a kid, but anyway, like a little kid. But. No, I'm not. Never mind. Sorry. Let me do this story. These guys, you can't kill them without a super missile. I think. But anyway, I played um, first generation Pokemon, like the, not the remakes, the originals, Game Boy. Oh, ha, ha. those were the days. Oh yeah. More stories on that later. Like if I ever would do a let's play that game, which I'm not sure. I played po the first time I played Pokemon uh, Generation 3 was Ruby at an airport in Alaska. Yeah, pretty weird places. Anyway, the recording is about to cut off here, so I'm just gonna just stand around here and jump, jump. So then I will just cut these videos between if it'll let me do that. If not, then I'll see you guys later. Hopefully, this will. Okay. We're back. Made a little 
little sound on my laptop there. All right, let's go, let's continue exploring over there. Cause no in this game is not that bad. Yeah, it's not really bad. Some people are like. In the original Metroid, I dread Norfair. That's a grinding spot up there. If you would be interested in that, if you'll be low on health, kind of, sort of. These guys also, the Magmores, ugh. I think they're Magmores, because they look like Magmores in Metroid Prime, that's why they call them Magmore Caverns, because these guys are out there and they kind of look like them. And somehow, just by that guy, obviously, hits my ass, but I'm not gonna doubt it. Right there, we can't go there yet, don't go there yet. Pointless unless you have the lay beam and then the power bombs. Here you can jump on these little thing with jigs. You better run through this because they're almost rising through the room and there's these guys who spit the blue fire because they're what they think who do they think they are? I think they're like the uh, I can't remember the name, darn it. Never mind. Anyway, it's sort of Pokemon, yeah. I've got generation three airport in Alaska. Yeah. Parents went, we went on an Alaskan cruise when I was in the second grade, I think. We went on an Alaskan cruise, and on the way back, we were, there was GameStop in the airport, and I saw Pokemon, Pokemon Ruby, and Emerald. Emerald was five bucks more, I think it, Ruby was $25. Emerald was five bucks more, so I couldn't get Emerald. <laughs> no Kyogre for me. Nope. Anyway, yeah, those were the fun days. And of course, I got um, four and five. John Pun on generation six and where am I? Oh, yeah, I'm in this room. The fail room. You fail doing this. There's a safe station up here that will be lovely. Warfare has a lack of save stations. Uh, save, this game is pretty particular with save stations. Like, it doesn't like you to have a lot of them. Like, in some places where you don't need them, they're everywhere. But in places where you do need them, you can't find it at all. Yeah, this game is kind of neurante when it comes to that type of matter. Blue fireballs. Crap! Uh, I failed. I failed! Uh, my first pun! Die, uh, Mr. Uh, Magmore. Oh, Magby. What's the buzz? What's I like the buzz's counterpart in Pokemon? Why am I talking about it? Oh, gosh. Uh, what is it like? I know, uh, Magby is the baby Pokemon form of whatever it is, but I can't remember what it is. <sighs> really showing your knowledge here, Vendetta. Yeah, really. Alright, here. I'm going to save state. Because this, if you fail, it will be life threatening. Because I really don't want to climb up this again if I do fail. It's crap. <laughs> Ow. 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 I'm done. Alright, let's open this thing. Sorry for my finicky mouse controls. Yay! Ow. Yeah, those things do like 30 damage. Anyway, yes, with the wall jump, we can do the. Probably the most known sequence break in the game. Getting the wave beam early. Yay. The wave beam is awesome because you get to skip the whole segment and you could potentially skip getting the ice beam until later, but I don't. Because I'm like that. But anyway. So, anyway, what I do? There's no way to break through that. I tried to break through it. In one time, yeah, I got the wave beam, but I died. Because I landed on the spikes and couldn't find the exit way. <laughs> that was not a very happy camper there. But with the wave beam, it can get shoot through stuff except like enemies. But yeah, it's more powerful as well. See, there's like three instead of like four or five. I wasn't really counting shots of those guys. Here, there's a little secret. I think. Oh gosh, the bomb physics. I've been playing Zero Mission a lot, so more 
all physics up. I think it's like right around here, there. Anyway, let us go ahead and go to the next area of our progression. Progression one. What? Anyway. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue to do this. Now, this plague me through my first book. I never, ever went up to shoot these guys. And, of course, me not being a pretty um, early Metroid or 2D Metroid experience. Best grinding in the game. These guys. These type of enemies. Because if you wait for them to form out, you can get five or like maybe six. Not too sure on that one. Don't quote me on that. Ow. Why'd I get hurt? Ow. Oh, I almost spent the one clogging it. A toilet. Oh. <clears throat> Here you gotta run. Seriously, run. If you don't run, you die. But don't run too fast, cause then you get this. A missile! I missed that too, when I first played through. So let's go ahead and use that missile, which I couldn't really tell there was five in there. Alright, this! Okay. Okay, now, let me get started on this. How? In the crap. Okay. For those that know how the speed vista works, how the crap is an arrow gonna help Samus run faster? Anyway, yeah, but the lava starts filling the room. We have to run because that's what we do. And we go, wee, and we go, yeah, we're Sonic, yeah! And the lava is filling the room and killing everything. Or somebody do a, do a various suitless run. They didn't fight Kraid. <coughs> they got the warfare. It was pretty impressive because when you get the gravity suit, it, um, you get the effect of the various suit, which is kind of cool. Although I don't really think it's possible, it probably is somewhere, but if you grind it, ground, <laughs> ground, grind. Anyway, if you grind it, maybe. Yeah. Well, we're on. Well, no, we're not done. More fair. Once we got the speed booster and the wave beam, you're halfway done. Then you just gotta fight, you know who? And you're out. And Ow. Today. You can't hurt those guys. Yet. Yet. Soon. You'll be able to hurt these guys. Ow. Soon. Ah, wow. Why do I keep falling in the lava? Gotta jump over those things, and I gotta press the B button, and it hurts, cause I gotta run to do the wall jump. And I gotta jump up on my lasers, and I gotta do the stalactites. Yeah, I think I'm right on that. Stalactites, like, my thing. But I had a history teacher that taught us stalagmites. They're the bot ones that come out on the bottom because they come out of the ground with all their might and the slag tights because they hang on tight. Maybe that's like an inside joke or something. Oh. Wow, and I fell. Wow, I'm doing amazing. Wow, I'm an amazing Super Metro player. I am the best. No, not even close. Man, I can't wait to get the spring ball. A lot of people hate it. They wonder, oh, why did we need the spring ball? Oh, we can already bomb jump because the spring ball is awesome. Because you don't have to press a button and then wait like one, two, one, thousand, two. Well, let me count. One, two. Wait, two seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Anyway, why am I going down there? Okay. Okay, bye, bye guys. Bye. Bye.